Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Claire Lane. I'm a student in the class of 2020 at Smith College, and I'm a double major in dance and French studies. So I think it's quite fitting that I'm speaking here at this conference, which is building bridges through languages, because one of my educational motivations is to figure out a way to use my knowledge of language, both verbal and physical, as a means through which to create a more inquisitive and empathetic world. So in that vein, today I want to speak to you about a class that I undertook last semester where I engaged in historical research and used an interactive creative form of role play. Um, and it was called Les Années Noires, Living in the German Occupation in Paris, 1939 to 1945. So through this course, we engaged in a methodology that's known as creative assimilation, um, wherein my peers and I constructed a fictitious character and imagined their evolution throughout World War II. And so through this, we were able to transform our classroom into a portal back in time, essentially, where we were able to formulate questions about what was it like to live in Paris after the French defeat and under the German occupation? What were the daily humiliations, the moral dilemmas, the political risks, and the confrontations that Parisians had to face daily as they struggled to survive? And then also, how are we today able to judge this historical period and those who lived through it? So this course reinvigorated my study of French and a French culture because it allowed me to bridge this interest of performance studies as an entryway into a historical period that's known as the collaboration, which is this period um, of time that was a collaboration between the Pétonist regime and the Nazi regime that still has big repercussions politically today. So uh, following in tr the tradition of many French literary figures who wrote on the theme of war trauma, this course introduced me to the genre of memoir writing as a form of historical investigation. So we began by uh, basing our memoirs off of the reading of a text called La Client by Pierre Asseline, which follows the life of a young biographer as he attempts to piece together the mystery of his neighbor's denouncement to the Inspector General of Le Commissariat General aux Questions Juifs, or the General Commission for Jewish Questions in English. Um, and so just as his story unfolded within the lineage of the Vichy regime, so too were our memoirs reacting to historical as well as personal events from my character's unique perspective. And so following this idea of performance studies, I chose to create a character who was a young cabaret dancer. And so within the writing of these memoirs, my character's life intertwined with those of my classmates and of the fictitious characters within Pierre Assouline's novel. Um, and so through this, we were confronting common events that we all experienced together through the war. And through this act, um, as I was engaging in historical research at the same time, I was specifically learning about cultural life in Paris under the Vichy regime and in Nazi-occupied France. And more specifically, I was learning about the complex and multifaceted role of art as a tool of both resistance and propaganda in Paris. And furthermore, this helps me understand the nuance and the emergence of a distinctly French artistic aesthetic, which served as a political strategy to gain social capital in the French Vichy regime. So embarking on this creative fictional memoir writing is by no means an easy feat to do in French. So it drove me to think about how I could best articulate and use my command of the French language to create a narrative structure, which would help me gain rapport with my audience members. When I was setting out to write this story about a young cabaret dancer, I did want to challenge myself to think outside of my normal perspective on the political spectrum. So I opted to have my character inhabit the mind of a collaborator or someone who supported the German occupation and someone who is now vilified for posterity. And my intent in writing these memoirs was not to justify by any means, my character's beliefs or to absolve, absolve her from any of the blame. 
but I hoped to develop her character to help the readers understand how she was trying to grapple with her own complicity. So the goal then that I had to ask myself in writing these memoirs was, how is it possible to elicit sympathy for a coward, for someone who is neither likable, courageous, nor full of integrity? And what lesson was I trying to convey in order to help my readers draw meaning and purpose from my work? So one of the ideas that I particularly had to pay attention to was performativity, uh, which is a concept that comes up a lot in performance studies. Um, and this is not only because my character was an entertainer for an audience member, but because my character was living in an era that's defined by suspicion and fear. So every single person was putting up barriers hiding parts of their identities and essentially creating an act as a means of self-preservation. So through this, I really had to call into question what ideas might my character include, modify, choose to reveal or not reveal um, in her retrospective of events and why would that be? Um, so as a work of historical fiction, of course, as I mentioned, these memoirs were grounded in primary and secondary research on cultural, sociological, and political context of Nazi-occupied Paris. So as I learned, cultural and artistic life in establishments, such as the, the Moulin Rouge, which is where my character, her work was based, um, were, was very morally ambiguous during the Nazi regime because they functioned as sites of intimate cultural interaction between German citizens and Parisians. So on one hand, these spaces enabled works of resistance. So for example, a lot of dancers were involved in espionage work or were runners for the black market. But on the other hand, all of the shows that were performed that passed censure perpetuated Nazi propaganda. Uh, so in navigating my character's life through this space, I had to grapple with conflicting versions of history, and then this ultimately allowed me to come to a more complex conclusion about how history is shaped. So from this experience, what's really exciting is that now I have a hunger to consider uh, pursuing this methodology of creative research and performance studies as a means to study French cultural um, aspects of Francophone culture. And so this summer, I'll be studying abroad in Avignon. And next year, I'll be studying abroad in Geneva. So I'm interested to see how this vein of research will allow me to reformulate and reconsider Francophone history from a multitude of perspectives. Thank you.